was aggressive, timely care, and then seamless transitions. And that goal is lived out in the emergency department at Abbott Northwestern Hospital 50,000 times a year. We see approximately 40% of all patients that are admitted to the hospital. Every patient, every family has a story. I have a passion for them and for the entire organization. And the reason I have a passion for them is that they had a passion for me. Step out, we're gonna activate level one MI. Even though Bill Manning was in severe pain and thought he was going to die, it's the compassion he remembers. When you experience what I experienced there, not just the act of saving my life, that's wonderful, but the way in which it was done. I think it's a special place where people learn extraordinary care. That dedication runs throughout Abbott Northwestern. The Neurological Intensive Care Unit treats patients with brain and spinal cord disorders. They require highly specialized care and constant monitoring. The pressure within Marit's skull was such that it was acute. We needed to deal with it immediately. There was a team standing by at the hospital. The drama started this morning. When I Their daughter was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Having that technology available to patients in our community is a remarkable, remarkable gift. The excellence in neurosurgery at Abbott Northwestern is world class, with demand constantly increasing. Having the proper space to care for these critically ill patients is vitally important. In the neuro ICU, the rooms are too small right now, and there's no room for visitors, there's barely room for doctors. The technology in critical care is growing by leaps and bounds, and the machinery that comes with it is growing by leaps and bounds. These rooms, though they appear spacious when there isn't a patient there, as you can see when things are going on, it could be very difficult to negotiate what goes on in these patients' rooms. The Critical Care Campaign raising $15 million to renovate, enhance, and expand the emergency department in Nero ICU. It's a $40 million project. We're raising $15 million to support um, an endeavor here on the Abbott Northwestern Hospital campus. Our goal is to have a facility that augments our care. And right now, we're a very fragmented emergency department. The care is superb, but long hallways and small rooms become barriers to high standards. We have a lot of blind alleys. This new department will give us sight lines where we can see all of our patients, and that's what you want to be in front of your patients so you can deliver efficient care. The focus is on supporting integrative care and healing therapies that treat the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. As we incorporate elements of the Penny George Institute, we, of course, are going to plan for lighting and colors and elements that will bring in uh, very soothing and healing, um, calming elements into the ED. Change will begin right at the front doors. That long walk to triage will be gone. The ambulance entrance will be streamlined to care for the most serious patients when they arrive. So with the new department, the resuscitation bays will be directly off the garage so the medics can swing in and the team will be waiting for them. Our psychiatric patients are a huge concern for us right now in the current setting. At any given moment, there could be as many as four to 12 patients in the emergency department. So our goal with the new emergency department is to have a separate unit where we can lock the doors, we can have deploy one nurse who will be focused on the care of those patients. This entire campaign is about staying true to Abbott Northwestern's promise, providing exceptional care to patients and families in the community and the region. I can't imagine um, being the physician on the end of the phone call to have to tell another hospital um, or emergency care provider that you have to turn a patient away because your beds are full. The neurointensive care unit currently is a 12-bed unit and it will be expanded to become a 20-bed unit on the sixth floor of the Heart Hospital. The capital campaign will also expand the growing practice of telemedicine. Telemedicine is becoming a very critical part of not only the uh, neuro group but also the ED group. And they can take a robot and they can actually diagnose 
and look at a patient from this remote site and decide what's the proper course of treatment. To whom much is given, much is expected. It's my hope that it's an opportunity, a teaching moment for our, our children, our grown children, that they too will participate in important causes. Ideally, we would eradicate all hospitals and we would all be healthy and we wouldn't need them, but that's not going to happen, so we need to make the, the facility the best we can make it so that we can provide the best care to enhance everybody's lives. The other thing is, which is uh, very important, but not often, not all the time thought about, is the fact that the nicer facilities you have, you can get better doctors. You know, nobody likes to work in a shoddy place. You got all these wonderful nurses, and, and the nurses at Abbott are really exceptional. But I think that if they have a more pleasant place to work, uh, more efficient, uh, so they feel like they're more productive, it'll be great for everybody. It's loud, it's crowded, it's cramped, it's fragmented, and we can do much better. Together, we can do better, be better. It's very inspiring to healing, and that's what I think Abbott Northwestern is about. It really understands its mission, and it is, is truly assisting people to heal. I would urge anyone to make sure in this community that the gem of this resource is available for this community, for the entire community and the entire Twin Cities. We have to move with the times. Now what we need is the facility to back us up. We need the space so we can really perform what we're so good at performing, better than most anybody else anywhere. We hope we can move our critical care unit and our neurocritical care specifically to that space that will allow us to do what we do best. They are really going to be helping a whole bunch of other people that I will never ever have the opportunity to see or meet or know or hear their story, but when I go to bed at night, I can sleep really well, and that it helped a lot of people.